Monet Davis went from relative obscurity to being in the spotlight in a very short period of time with paparazzi and autograph seekers on her trail. It's one of the downsides to notoriety. Pictures, flashing lights. I wasn't really ready for this. Just stabbing pictures randomly, I, I hate that. It's unbelievable. It's an experience. It's a good experience. It's a bad experience. But Monet's rise to stardom has its benefits too. This summer she gained rapid national attention from some of the country's biggest celebrities. Her Twitter account went from 1,000 to well over 30,000 followers in a matter of weeks. One of the first celebrities to meet Monet was the Phillies Ryan Howard. He's trying to size me up right now. He visited the Taney Dragons during their World Series run in Williamsport. You know, it's not about sex, it's not about race, it's not about anything like that, it's just about talent. I think that's what she goes out there and she shows that it's about the talent, that it doesn't matter if you're boy, girl, whatever, that if you can play, you can play. And when the Phillies celebrated Taney's season at Citizens Bank Park, Chase Otley was right there. Monet felt right at home with the Phillies' first baseman. You got to hook me up with Chase Otley here. Well, what you want? I don't care. You want to say hi? I already said hi. Well, I mean, well, I mean, well, I mean. I want to win. I want a W for you guys today. Spending time with the Phillies and throwing out the first pitch as a team was a special experience for Monet, but nothing like meeting number 26. My favorite player is Chase Utley. You got a brief opportunity to see Chase Utley? I mean, I talked to him. Not very long, though. That was fun, What though. was the conversation with Chase Utley? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and he told me, uh, nice job. From one side of the country to the other, Monet's popularity on the West Coast is just as strong. I can guarantee you that was the best first pitch I've ever caught this year. Good luck in Western Korea, right? Thank you. Monet sat in Magic Johnson's seats at Dodger Stadium and enjoyed their pregame banter with the Dodger players as part of the Queen Latifah show. If I give you a jersey, will you give me a jersey? Okay. She particularly had fun with star outfielder Yasiel Pui. I played with him on the game. I didn't really expect to meet him. And every time I play with him, I was yelling, Puig, <laughs> Her biggest fan on the Dodgers is all-star pitcher Clayton Kershaw. I don't know how we're going to make this pitch off anymore. <laughs> That's about all I got right there. Can you beat that? I've seen it. I saw I, that. I think I'm going. Yeah. It's pretty cool to know that Major League Baseball players are fans of you and you're fans of them. So, it's I mean, it's really cool. Just another day for Monet, chatting, taking pictures with the game's best pitcher. How did you feel with Bryce Harper with that home? Not good. <laughs> he hit it far, didn't he? Yeah. I got a little stubborn. He kept throwing fastballs, thinking I, you know, he couldn't catch up, and then he did. Okay. It does happen. Probably not very often to you. Though. No, no. Usually off a curveball. Curveball, curveball you get, yeah. To me, it's fastball. If I want to make it here, I have to have a strong body. I still want to play in the WNBA. Monet has not been shy about her aspirations to be a WNBA player, and the league invited her to meet some of her favorite players during a playoff game in Minneapolis. I saw one of your little videos you crossed over one of the dudes, made them fall. <laughs> I was like, okay. WNBA star Brittany Griner is not the only one who has seen Monet's killer crossover on YouTube. The 2010 video has been seen 160,000 times. Yes, Monet is serious about basketball and meeting her favorite basketball player. Yeah. Hold on, guys, hold on. Former UConn star Maya Moore, now with the Minnesota Lynx. Nice to be here. Yes. Monet dreams of being the point guard at the University of Connecticut. And during her time at Williamsport, UConn women's coach Gino Oriema called Monet to wish her well. The thing that struck me about her was that in the two minutes, it was something that is not normal. The scrutiny that she was put under and the, the media generated and the fan interest that was generated, just not normal. And I thought she handled it unbelievable. I did say at one point, they didn't pick you because you were a girl. They picked you because you're a really good baseball player. The two-minute phone call got Oriyama a reprimand from the NCAA for reaching out to the eighth grader. Concerns about harming Monet's college eligibility is paramount for the family and those who have offered assistance. She's got a long life ahead of her. Don't do something now that, that could cause problems later on. Ken Shropshire is director of Wharton's Sports Business Initiative 
at the University of Pennsylvania. She's not quite in the, the recruit age. She's not in high school. So there's a lot that's unique about this. There's a lot unique that, that basketball is her ultimate sport, so she says now. I mean, these things all change. Um, and, and baseball is where she's gotten her, her little bit of fame. Monet always thought her fame would come on the basketball court. It's her favorite sport, and in her opinion, her best sport. Jump ball is going to be um, Kelsey. All right. Oh, you tapping back, boy. Damn it. All right. Yo. Monarch on three. One, two, three. Monarch. I'm used to it. And I always play with my older brother and his friends. I watch older kids, younger kids, pros, college. I just watch whatever basketball I can and to see what people are doing and try to develop that into my game. Her game is running the point. It's been mainly against boys, although she will play varsity girls basketball at Springside Chestnut Hill Academy. When I play against the boys, they're more aggressive and they'll actually make me better. I know I'm not gonna be a taller, so why not work on your ball handling? Most of the time, I'll pass. Sometimes I'll, I might shoot if I'm open. In basketball, she has to take control, like show direct traffic. Scott Bandora knows Monet Davis as well as anyone. They have been teammates in every sport for six years. She's good with basketball skills translate into soccer because she sees the field. She can look at nothing but see everything at the same time and get at making passes. Everyone knows Monet plays baseball and basketball, but she thrives at soccer too. There's no difference the way she plays than any of us. Her aggressive style of play is one of her strengths. My mom said it that when I was younger, I used to always get pushed around, but now I don't shy away from contact. No longer can Monet fly under the radar. Everyone in every game, in every sport, will know she is on the field or on the court, but it will be business as usual for Monet and her teammates. We know each other so well that we're like a well-oiled machine. We know what each other are gonna do at certain times and we know where to make those runs. And off the field, we're just the best of friends. Scott and Monet have enjoyed a tremendous amount of success together as members of the Anderson Monarchs. But when things don't go according to plan, Monet is the last one to panic. Like when you're down in a game, I kind I think that's like fun compared to being up by a lot. Because when you're up by a lot, it gets kind of boring. But when you're down in the game, it gets really excited and you like, you like run more and you do like things you, tempo. yeah, yeah, yeah. The tempo is more up compared to when you're like, when you're up in the game. The tempo has been nonstop off the field for Monet. She could have never imagined her accomplishments would have taken her and her teammates to one of sports sacred destinations. We come here a lot and it's pretty cool to see all the jerseys and for to see my shout out jersey would be amazing. Monet's ultimate Taney tribute when we come back. She is gonna be the first lady to go to the major leagues. <laughs>